I was struck by the first reading today from the second letter of St. Peter uh, that the Lord has given us uh, all things to make life and devotion through the knowledge of Him called to His own glory and power. And then He has bestowed on us the precious and great promises so that, so that what? So that through them we may come to share in the divine nature. God calling us into his own nature, into his heart, to be one with him, to, you know, in baptism we receive the Holy Trinity living within our lives, in our souls. But it says, after escaping the corruption that is in the world because of evil desire. I was thinking about this, that the corruption of the world is caused by evil desire. Now, this is no big surprise, I'm sure. But we look and say, I was thinking about desire. So often we look at our desires especially our evil desires, as so often just rooted in so much wrong. But the reality is, evil is not a thing. You can't say, okay, this is pure evil. There is no such thing as pure evil. Evil is not a being in itself. Evil is a privation. So it's, uh, it's good that is either twisted up or uh, there's too little or too much of it. That it's not in the proper proportion. And so evil is not something of itself, but it's good that is twisted. And so when we have these twisted desires, the answer is not to get rid of our desires, but to ask God to untwist them so that they can be properly ordered. Every desire we have is based on something good, but every evil desire is based on something good that has been twisted or doesn't have enough or has too much. And so we look and say, okay, Lord, help me to redirect my evil desires so that they may be directed properly in an ordered fashion, ultimately back to Him. Every single one of our desires is ultimately a desire for Almighty God. But the corruption in this world is because our desires have been twisted in the wrong way, very often inverted to focus back in on ourselves instead of on God. And as the saying goes, we need our desires to get to heaven. The fathers of the church talked about this, that it is our desires that then are the propulsion that get us to heaven. They wouldn't have used this this image, but it's like the rocket fuel shooting us to the moon. And so we look and we say, okay, if we're going to share in the divine nature, by escaping from the corruption of this world in our, and from the evil desires, it's not just those evil desires out there, but it's in our hearts. In order to escape the corrupt world, it has to start within our hearts. So we pray to God, Lord, untwist my twisted desires. Redirect my desires which I have for love, for union, for community, for communion to be to be wanted, to be recognized. Whatever it may be, redirect my twisted desires back to your heart so that I may see you, so that I may be able to escape the corruption of this world and share in your divine nature.